So, Ned had another suggestion for me. Oh, he also had some information. He told me that motovloggers all have secret identities. And he's going to have to give me one. Because that's what motovloggers do. So he said that I'm going to be known as the Hermit. when he sets up the TubeView channel. Which I said, alright, that's not a huge stretch. Since about half the people I know call me a Hermit anyways. But... Are you sure that it's cool to have a secret identity? Because it seems kind of dorky to me. Have some kind of alias you call yourself by while you're motovlogging. He said, no, that's what you do. It's part of the awesomeness of motovlogging. It's kind of like being a superhero. I was like, really? Because it also kind of sounds like being a stripper or cross-dresser to me. He kind of got quiet after that. Whatever. He also told me I should stop calling things stupid and be more positive. Otherwise, nobody will ever watch his TubeView channel. And that just breaks my heart. So, he also said I should uh, not be so specific. Think of things that are general topics that lots of people can relate to and be positive. And then more people will watch his TubeView channel. Alright, I'll give that a shot. So, how about today we talk about the fact that I'm positive that restaurants are stupid. I think we can all agree on this, right? This is what happened last time I went into a restaurant. And you know what, if you work at a restaurant, maybe I can help you out here. Maybe I can change your life forever. Some suggestions. Anyways, restaurants are stupid. So, last time I went to a restaurant, I go in. And first, there's a person there greeting us, and they say, Hi, how many? Fair enough. We tell them there's going to be three of us. It's me and two other dudes. And they say, Okay, would you like the dining room, the patio, the party room, or the bar? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm not an expert on your floor plan. Just sit us somewhere. And so then they walk us in this area, I guess it was the dining room. They get us to a table and they say, how's this? And I'm like, again? I thought this was what your specialty was supposed to be. Where people should sit. Why are you asking, what is your function? Yeah, this is fine, let's sit here. So restaurant owners, here's an idea. Just put a sign up that says sit where you want and save yourselves the expense of paying some person to ask me where I want to sit. So, then the waiter comes up and takes this order. Now, if you're a waiter, here's a suggestion. <clears throat> ask up front if people want separate checks. Like, if it's a family or it's a date, then I, you know, maybe you need to ask. But if it's like three dudes, maybe you should just ask, hey, is it going to be separate checks? Because it probably is. So we got our food, the meal went okay, and then uh, they come back and they give us our bill. They didn't tell us they were going to give us our bill, they just kind of, before we were done eating, gave us our bill. And I'm thinking they probably should have again checked to say, checked and asked us if we were done, if we were ready for our bill, so that we could offer the suggestion that we wanted separate checks. Or they could have asked us, do you want separate checks? But they didn't, so we said, hey, uh, sorry, could we get that? separate checks. And of course the guy kind of acted all put off that we were asking for separate checks. So here's some advice. First of all, you're going to get a bigger tip if you have separate checks. Because if you have one check, I'm going to round up once. If you have separate checks, everybody's going to round up more. In fact, if I have a $10 bill, I'm probably going to say, you know what, $10, $10 bill, a $2 tip seems kind of sorry, and I'm going to throw in a $3 tip. Now, if it's a $30 bill, I'm probably just going to do 20% even. And my friends kind of think the same way. So you end up making $3 more if you break up the, tip, if you break up the checks. Just saying. And by the way, if you get an ecto put off when I ask for separate checks, then your tip just goes down, okay? Just pretend to be delighted to be breaking up my check. 
So then we get our separate checks, and I go and I sign my bill, and after I do the math and sign the bill, I realize the customer copy was on top. God, that's annoying. Waiters, do us a favor. Put the merchant copy on top and the customer copy on bottom so I don't have to do it twice. Because that basically means my last impression of you, the last thing I think right before I do your tip is, dang it, that guy could have put the customer copy on top. And then I'm just annoyed. So put the customer copy on top to begin with. And then that was about the end for that trip. Could have gone better, could have gone worse. But hopefully that's something that you can relate to, that we're all positive about. All right, over and out.